Hey guys, it's Iron Marine here with another video. Today, doing the MOS 1833, which is the uh, the uh, AAV crewman, um, <clears throat> which AAV, if you didn't know, stands for Assault Amphibious Vehicle, uh, or I've heard it flipped around to Amphibious Assault Vehicle. Um, this this is the vehicle that you see that's constantly driving around the water. It's got tracks. Uh, very similar to a tank, but it also it can go straight from the water and drive up on the land and perform you know land based operations they they're pretty cool vehicles I mean you can hold up to twenty four marines in them uh or uh, what was it uh ten thousand pounds worth of cargo and they can travel up to highway speeds when they're on land. So they can get up you know, to 50, 60 miles an hour. You can haul ass in these things. Uh, or up to 10, 10 knots through the water. You, what are some of the basic requirements? You got to have a swim class of two, uh, which I got in boot camp. is very easy. In my opinion, it's very easy. And because you're going to be doing a lot of work in the water. I've seen, I've gone down and watched some of these guys train that are you know, they're in their MLS school. When I was down in, in Camp Pendleton for section chiefs course I on the weekends you know if we'd get off early on a Friday or something I would go down with my buddy down to the uh, oh fuck what kind of I'm blanking on the name of that part of Pendleton basically where they where these dudes train and <clears throat> they uh, you know you see him freaking haul balls from the land and just dive into the water and just hit it huge splash of water and and then they start floating and they start driving around in the water. Uh, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> pretty cool job being able to do both. A lot of times you'll see them uh, take guys from ship to the shore. So if you're doing a you know assault onto a beach or something, these are the vehicles that you'll use because they can hold 24. You know, 24 Marines is three squads of Marines, and and. Uh, that, that's a lot of that's a lot of people that that you can get on onto the shore very quickly, very very quickly. And I've known a few guys that have done this, and they absolutely love it. You can have, I mean, when these guys are when they're up, when they have all their full weapons up, they they can have. A, I believe it's a Mark 19, which is the 40 millimeter grenade, or a 50 cal. Uh, it's possible that they have, maybe they have both. I'll have to find someone that knows 100 percent for sure. But uh, but either way, they they got a lot of firepower. They really do. They uh, let's see. They they can fucking lay a hurt down on the enemy if the enemy decides to mess with them. Um, they're not super up armored. They have some armor, um, but nothing, you know, intense. And if an enemy tank shoots you, you're you're gonna be well aware of it. But you know, it's much better protection wise than it is you know being on foot and. And, uh, yeah, so let's see. You have to have a GT score of 90 or higher. You have to do the swim class 2, which I've already talked about. Uh, the, the the course is down in Camp Pendleton. I'm not sure if they have a course on the East Coast as well, but from everything I'm seeing, it's uh, it's on it's in Camp Pendleton. Uh, you must have visual acuity correctable to 2040 in both eyes, which means your vision has got to be correctable to at least 2040. You must have normal color vision so you can't be colorblind for this job you need to be you need to be have normal normal vision I guess uh, let's see that there's three crewmen in the in the vehicle they you have just a basic crewman they're called a rear crewman uh, prepares which they prepare the AV to employ troops and weapons during ship to shore movements and shore operations and they perform maintenance um, on the vehicles and in the weapons that the vehicle has they then you have the driver which obviously drives the AV and then a position you have to learn how to build a position AV to fire on the enemy when you get in place because there's certain ways that are better than others to be able to to be able to do that and you have to know how to position AV so that it it makes you least susceptible to enemy fire, but also allows you to put the most firepower down on the bad guys. Uh, so there's there's a fair amount to learn there. And then the driver also performs you know maintenance and stuff like that. 
And then you have the commander, who supervises all maintenance and, and operations on the AV. And then they're responsible for the entire vehicle, as well as the Marines in the vehicle. So, a lot of responsibility there, but but you can handle it if you get up to that. But yeah, alright guys, I think, that's, I think that's it. It's a pretty cool job. Definitely, uh, just look up, if you're curious what this is, just look, look, look up uh, AAVs and then watch some videos on them. I'm sure YouTube has a ton. And just shows them splashing into the water and fucking driving around the water. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Alright, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, hit me up. I'll see you in the next one. Separate bye.